how are you doing guys? I'm, um, you know, this is the Decker Heggy Hard Men Talk. Today, I want to speak about a man from Hartlepool, a man I rate very highly. I think he's a pure gentleman. I've had many conversations with him. Richie Crazy Horse Horsley. What a man. This man is the real deal. And this is why I'm putting him in my hard man list because the man's a business. He was a really good boxer but this isn't really about boxing qualities or MMA to me this is about the street fighting qualities and Richie Horsley is a well-known street fighter um, I've read his book but not just that you know I've, met, I've spoke to some of Richie's friends I've interviewed one of Richie's friends on um, that he worked the doors with um, and I've been told a lot of stories about Richie and uh, he was a real deal the thing I like about Richie is he's a really nice man and this is what I'm trying to say 95% of the tough men are gentlemen you get the small 5% that are tough but bullies and I don't like that I don't agree with that um, and that's why people like that wouldn't be I wouldn't give them a mention because you gain nothing from bullying people I prefer people that are protectors, people that look after people in, 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 the, in the right way but also use their weapons when they need to, not just for the sake of it. Um, Richard Horsley, he lived a very eventful life, worked the doors for years. He's also worked with some very hard men. Um, you know, he's been connected to the likes of Viv and um, people like that. He was around the year of Duffy and Viv Graham. Um, but yeah, Richie was one, one tough man. I think he mentioned in his book that he was only beaten once. Um, but like I say, and this is what I keep saying to everybody, is always a harder man. You know, there's a lot of reputations around Britain. There's people that we don't even know about that are tough. I mean, a lot of these names are mentioned, like the Duffys and Lenny McLean's, that there could be people tougher than them that you've never heard of because they're family men or they're just like to live a quiet life. Um, I know one man that lives in, I think it's um, Blythe in, in the North East. Um, I won't mention his name, um, but he's a very close friend and my family friend. And he was a very, 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 very hard man. And he doesn't like to be mentioned. And um, this is what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of them that don't like the limelight. They don't like the publicity. They just like to get on with their lives. They're not allowed to be brought into the public domain. Now, you've got to remember, guys, there's a difference between a gangster and a hard man. And mostly, hard men attract gangsters because gangsters like to have the hard men working for them. As you see, like you see a lot of gangsters with right hand men, they're always the tough men. But I mean, a lot of gangsters, but you see a lot of them like in nutcases, they'll stab you, they'll shoot you. To me, that doesn't go down in a hard man category. The hard man category for me goes down with your bare hands, with your fist, your street fighting ability. Um, and like I say, it's, I mean, I'm a fighting man myself, so I think I'm in a position to actually judge and, and, and give praise to some of these people that deserve it because I don't think a lot of tough guys get enough mention but Richie Horsley is definitely in there with them uh, I rate him highly I think he's a really good man um, I've spoken to him many times I class him as a friend and um, it took a good man to beat him it took, a, it took a good man to beat him in his prime um, it's just a shame that you know a lot of these old legends haven't got any footage because it would have been great to see I mean I'd love to have seen footage of Duffy in action because um, you see nowadays a lot of street fights that take place are actually filmed with phones <laughs> in a good way social media can be used in a, in a positive way but it can also be used in a bad way but I just want to give my props to Richie, Paul, uh, Richie Horsley God bless me, respect, and you are one hard man and deserve the mention. Like and subscribe to the channel, guys.